work for the first time into the campus of a new school. They are received by a missionary, Mrs. Schmidt, one of the founding missionaries of the all-new, all-girls secondary school, located on the new town hill of then Victoria. Pliny Fongin, Ruth So Akam, Miriam Nguang Jato, Maria Mukete, Monica Akwachere Fochu, Lilian Gumbi Fointama, Mary Augustina Manga, Dora Belinda Ekiko, and their friends. Boxes on their heads, anxious and thrilled, are discovering this rudimentary space in which they will write history and in the process open the way for many more young girls to gain education. For most of them, the mystery is still complete and the questions many. A new school had just been opened called the Baptist Girls Secondary School. I don't know if I knew too much or it was just that I, I was tired of not being able to pass to go to Queen of the Rosary Secondary School or to go to Queen's College in Ibadan that I thought, oh, well, I'll just join the rank of teachers and nurses somewhere. But from nowhere, my father came and said, have you registered for that school? I said, no, he went and registered me. That's how I was registered, not planning. Then the exams came, we left Siko with a couple of friends, went to Victoria, wrote the examination, and to my greatest surprise, pleasantly, I, I, I passed and went for the interview and also passed. And as I always tell people, passing brought new dimensions in my life. I learned new words like uh, uh, prospectus. And we had an entrance exam to SECA. I didn't know what that meant. And uh, we took the exam. And um, my father is a Baptist pastor. They came to Kumba for a conference. And when I went to meet him there, they had a list of those who had passed to go to Seca. I was one of the people on that list. And what was really strange was that, or interesting was that, uh, my name came with an envelope. My father not having enough money to pay for fees, we guess a missionary did send me uh, the, the, the envelope with some money in it. Don't, I didn't understand what it was all about. I knew I was just going to continue to go to school, but I didn't know really the depth of how, how much impact that could have on me. I didn't know. I, had the, you know, I was excited and I, saw, I had all these names and I, people that I didn't know. And um, it was a little bit scary, I would say. <laughs> that first day is forever vividly etched in the memory I remember living uh, down, uh, downtown uh, Limbe at the time. My uncle, Dr. Solomon Fogwe, was a pastor of a Beneza Baptist church. And so they had prepared a little box with my clothing and all that. I remember carrying the box to school, arriving the campus. And uh, with my little box and with other girls coming, it was quite interesting. The day came, my father was already a district officer uh, working in Victoria. I left Tico, went and met him to get to the school on the 29th of uh, January 1962. Papa had already paid my five pounds, so it was remaining 47 pounds, 10 shillings. So he took a Bible, which is one of the needs of the prospectus put my 47 pounds, 10 shillings inside, wrapped it in brown khaki paper, tied it in my arm, put my suitcase on my head and told me to hold the Bible on me, not look left, not look right, until I get to school and meet a lady who was called Miss Schmidt. She was the only one who would put my things down and take off <laughs> the, the, the Bible from my hand. Seca Baptist College founded with help from the North American Baptist Convention and the Cameroon Baptist Mission, who saw the need to educate a modern Cameroonian Christian woman. At its inception, the school is known as the Baptist Girls Secondary School. 
and later become the Cameroon Christian College. But the pioneer students do not agree with this name. They want to honor the memory of Alfred Seca, the first Baptist missionary to Cameroon. We got there as students in Baptist Girls Secondary School. Then suddenly, Ms. Westerman came and said the name had been changed to West Cameroon Christian College. It was so embarrassing. As much as we wanted to be Christians, we didn't want to flaunt it around. The Sasa boys started calling us WCCCs, the uh, uh, Bali boys. And so we said, no, we don't want those CCCs after our names. They asked us in Form 1 to look for a name for ourselves. And we thought of the first missionary, Baptist missionary in Victoria, Alfred Seca, and we chose his name. And then we became Seca Baptist College, which was accepted by everybody. In the document used to register the school with the Cameroon Education Board in Boya at the time, one can read that the college is to provide professional training for girls who intend to gain employment and thus make their contributions to the economic development of Cameroon. A challenge that has weighed its worth in successes and difficulties over the past 60 years. Uh, Seca Baptist College was founded in uh, 1962 by the North American Baptist Missionary. And their mission was to train the girl child because when they came here for missions, for evangelism, they discovered that uh, the girl child was uh, underprivileged and was not given the opportunity to go to school. And so they had it as an objective to train the girl child so that the girl child can have a place in the society. The education that these young girls received has even become more than what they expected to receive in the classroom. Why was it like that? Because we were trained under strict Christian principles. The first name for that college was West Cameroon Christian College because they wanted to train people to become young women to become christians and so from then 60 years on the cbc has taken over from the north american baptist mission but this the the principle of training us under christian principles is still there that is why you see young girls coming from seca baptist college like you we are doing so well everywhere we are Seca Baptist College, of course, is very important as far as the training of the girl child is concerned. It was one of the first secondary schools that was opened to train the girl child with emphasis on training girls. And uh, it has been very successful in that when you look around, you move around, you will find so many Seca girls in uh, places of influence and they have continued to contribute their quota towards the development of the nation. I think we go beyond the academics. Today, Seca, the name Seca, it's a whole, uh, how like, it's a whole institution on its own. So you have people, you have ladies who have come out and they have excelled enormously in almost all walks of life. My wife was very attached emotionally to Seca Baptist College and uh, she transmitted to me that love to that school that I never attended. You know that it's a, a girl's uh, school. Uh, but uh, quickly I realized that what they were doing was exceptional. Be it for the school itself, the alma mater, be it uh, for the actual students, or be it even for the exam, the past student of the school. I think that Seca has done or is doing a great job at educating the girl child. Um, it has graduated over 8,000 girls and these girls are now working in all works of life in the four corners of the globe. Name the profession, you will find a secret. In fact, you will find hundreds of cigarettes every, in every profession 
around the world. And then we are great mothers, great housewives as well. And then we also are entrepreneurs. We have um, sacreds who are founding members of schools or founders of schools. We have sacreds who have who own businesses that take care of the community, the communities within which they live in Cameroon as well as uh, abroad. We have sacreds who are teaching and bringing up the next generation of girls. And so, Sika, I think, has achieved its goal of of of. Uh, creating or of building, of generating a womanhood and a motherhood for the development of Cameroon. Challenges notwithstanding, the school has forged on. 60 years down the line, Seca Baptist College has graduated over 8,000 students, both from Form 5 and from the higher school, which was introduced in 1961. Seca Baptist College is a school, the first amongst many. There are many schools in Cameroon. There are many schools abroad, but I can assure you that people send their children from France, from the United States of America, from Great Britain. They want their children to come to Seca Baptist College, to acquire that same knowledge, because they have seen what women who come out, Seca Reds, Exans, what they are made of made up of in society and so therefore everybody will want their children to go to Seca Baptist College and I, what do I want to say about that because there is an influx everybody wants their child to go to Seca Baptist College to gain entrance into Seca Baptist College nowadays is not an easy thing and what we are fighting against is overcrowding because everybody wants the child to go to Seca Baptist College you see so many students we are near 1000 today Whereas when Seca Baptist College started, it started with 36. And when they reached from five, they were less than 400. And today, we have almost a thousand because everybody wants her child to go to that renowned Christian college. The Seca Reds remains one of the greatest alumni that you can find in Cameroon today. And you'll find out that they are so uh, much enthusiastic about the school and they do everything to help the school grow. Uh, it has been very, very successful. And uh, you can know that SECA students, the ex-students, they are found everywhere in the society and in very important uh, positions. So I must think that uh, the vision has been um, successful to an extent. In their various capacities, they make indelible contributions to their homes and communities at home and abroad. Securates are forged in tough, so despite the very challenging times, the global rally to celebrate Seca Baptist College as it turns 60 has only gained following. We envisioned the possibility of reaching out to every secret, no matter where they were found. And that meant that we had to work online, we had to do e-conferences. That was even before the COVID-19 uh, pandemic sprung up. So we had already had that vision in place. And uh, it wasn't really as a challenge for us, I mean COVID-19, because we had already put that mechanism in place to work from uh, you know, a distance. Of course, it can be a challenge. COVID is a challenge when it comes to, you know, absent absences for reasons of ill health or for the fact that one has been affected or infected by the, the, the virus and you cannot be as performant as you would have wanted to be. We placed the organization of this on two principles, that of inclusion and universality. Inclusion meaning every cigarette with a registration number. Whether you spent one day or one month or 10 years in Seca Baptist College, you were invited to be part of this organization. And universality, of course, goes to say that every one of us, we had to work as a team. From the get-go, we set up subcommittees. Uh, we had about 17 subcommittees and we called for every cigarette to belong to at least one or more subcommittee 
And it's from that point that we have been working. In the eyes of these women, the founders have largely attained their mission to achieve the highest possible standards of moral and academic excellence for their students. And every opportunity to say so is a good time. We have succeeded in bringing good results. Second, if you go to your records, I challenge everybody to go to the records. The GCE for the past how many years? Second Baptist College is either number one, number two, number three. They score between 90% and 100% success. And the grades are very good. If you look at the children who have traveled abroad, those children from Seca Baptist College, we have engineer. We have, an, I don't know what to call that little girl, but she's an aeronautic engineer. She's even more than a pilot. It means that she can take a, a rocket and go to the moon. Those are products of Seca Baptist College. I will not want to tell you, you yourself, you know those around us. We have ministers. We have Director Generals. We have Assistant Director Generals. We have Secretary Generals. We have Supreme Court Judges. We have all manner of people. But above all, that Christian upbringing that we had in Seca Baptist College, to make our homes steady, to make our homes strong, every secret, every exam, forges ahead in her home to bring up children who are valuable in the society because we know the family is the bedrock of the society and so we are forging ahead to bring up strong families that is the most important thing about our training we are mothers we are housewives above every other thing that we have achieved and that is a strength that i know we got from seca baptist college when something is done and well done all what you can wish is for that thing to continue, to go on. And uh, uh, I think uh, Exans and uh, Sika Baptist College have in common the fact that they are cultivating merit, uh, the efforts they are supporting efforts and uh, I think uh, they push w each and everyone to go beyond personal interest. Seca Baptist College has come to prominence for its academic success but not only its rich and well-known traditions have created an enabling environment where the seeds of many successful bonds have been nurtured and careers launched, most of them rooted in Christian values and in the American culture. The Geelong's and Petit system, bigs and smalls, mentors and mentees, has created a sisterhood bond that still binds several generations of secrets long after they have left Seca. The annual spiritual emphasis are still part and parcel of all sacred functions today. Forty years after the former students officially came together to start an ex-student association, the pioneer president reminiscences on how it all started and how far the association has come. The missionaries and some of our Cameroonian teachers, I remember Mrs. Mbongo, Irene Ashoskola at the time, came to Yaoundé, called some of us together and said, start an association of ex -secrets. That was the name we were being called. Somewhere in Bambili, a group of girls there had started the ex secret Association. Then they went to other towns like Limbe, uh, 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 Bamenda, and so about, about four or five ex secret Associations had been formed around the nation. Then for the celebrations of the 20th anniversary, which was organized by the school authorities, we were now all called to come in. But before we got there, wherever the, a group of girls found themselves 
we did form us, put ourselves together. We started singing, raising funds. We already started saying we need to give back to the school. We need to meet each other, love one another. So uh, uh, activities were going on around the country from all these other already existing uh, associations in towns. So we got to Seika Baptist College, five groups of six from the nation, associations of ex -secrets. Then while we were there in the exuberance, with the joy, with the LA, LA, with such excitement, 20th year of Seika Baptist College, I, I, I had a baby, three months old, I took with me. I suddenly heard from someone that they were going to start a national association there with the existing groups. Because Yaoundé was so vibrant, we were singing and making money and I was their president and I just came back from England. I was a little bit British and ex people were excited at my personality. So, but anyway, that's not it. It's, it's the output that we got from Yaoundé, from the singing, led by the, the likes of, of Stella Anyangwe. We had wonderful patrons who patronized those who helped us, who gave us assistance. We were singing in the big halls here in Yaoundé. We were singing and making money. So the news went around that Yaoundé was actually moving. We got there then, they said, we should now create a national association where we all come together as one. And then, of course, elections were held, and I was made the national president. EXA, as it is fondly called, now has branches all over the country and well beyond. Well, this, the Bamenda chapter of EXA has been existing for, I mean, since 1982, meaning that it is a group that has seen many years of commitment of members, and next year will be 40 years old. The Boya chapter so far has been so active. When I came in at first, we were just uh, 34 members, but now we are over 129 members. It shows how active the girls are. It shows how willing we are to promote our motto of love, unity, and sisterhood. Accents embody the true meaning of being a sister's keeper. In my opinion, that is what keeps us going. We laugh and celebrate together, and we cry and grieve together. We try to create a sense of purpose, which gives us direction, and we show a party like there is no tomorrow. We are a family. About EXA USA, it is a branch made up of 12 chapters. The first chapter was the Washington DC Metro chapter, which started in 1984 followed by the Houston chapter, the Georgia chapter, and the Dallas chapter, all created before the year 2001. In 2001, XI USA as a branch was formally launched in Dallas, Texas. The motivation to form chapters in the U.S. stemmed from the formation of EXA in Cameroon in 1982 as a means to get sisters together to support each other and to reminisce of their time at Seca Baptist College. The story and motivation to create a chapter in the UK found its root from the growing number of ex Seca Baptist College students, also known as Secarets, who traveled over the years to the UK to study, to work, or to reside. Secarets, conscious and proud of our distinguished alma mater and its prominent its positive and dynamic role in nation building, which by the way is continuously manifested through its brilliant academic performance, mindful of our alma mater's unqualified dignity and moral probity, the adherence to the ideals of sisterhood amongst past and present students, good citizenship and the development of a sound body and mind, and determined to foster the development of productive Christian humanhood and to safeguard the spiritual and temporal welfare of its members. On 30th June 1995, during a plenary session held in London, 
the ex-students of Seca Baptist College Association in the United Kingdom, also known as EXA UK, was created. So that love, that unity is what we really cherish. And in Nexa Nigeria, we, we see that each time we meet, we had our first convention 2019, 2020, we met uh, online virtually because of uh, Corona. And this year, we met physically again. In fact, the hotel where we met, people were wondering what's happening because the moment somebody stepped in, there will be that shout, yay, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no matter your age, no matter your level, we all came down to each other's level. And that joy of love and sisterhood is something I will always cherish from Seca Baptist College. It is a beautiful mix of ladies from all walks of life, irrespective of our background, irrespective of our achievements in life. What is so beautiful is the way that Sikaites are able to mix as classmates, as um, sisters who belong to uh, the same chapter. We are blessed to have Sikaites interacting with each other without intimidating any sister um, for not achieving as much as others have done. EXA Canada was created seven, seven years ago. That was October 18, 2014. Fifteen of us gathered together in my residence and started our association out here in Canada. You know, when the, you talk of Seca, we talk of music. Seca Reds love music a lot. And secondly, we have as our motto, as excellence, love, unity, and sisterhood. That sisterhood makes us to be one another's keeper. And we always like see into what is happening with a sister. We have gone a long way as Sekarets, as far back as when we went to Seka in Form 1. We have our beaks who took care of us as far back as in Form 1. So that bonding, being away from parents in an environment where you don't have anybody as a parent, coming from far and near, we were bound to bond together till date. Well, hosting is never an easy thing. You know, we have hosted the 50th anniversary before, but the way it is organized, you know, every all committees have been put in place. It's not as if all the work is on us. But being in the town where the event is taking place is never easy because we have extra things to do, extra work to run around. We have a lot of extra work to do. It is not going to be easy, but at least we are ready to celebrate because we are happy that we are celebrating 60. So we are ready to work.
If you know sacred, you will know that music defines them. Music and singing stand today as the most remarkable feature of the association over time, practically becoming the hallmark of Seca Baptist College. can say about cigarettes we sing we sing you know for me singing has two things that it does Number one when you sing you're praising God you're worshiping God when you sing you are also ministering to those who listen to you you're spreading the gospel and if we shouldn't get that out of our mind then we were gifted with the talent of singing. No, everyone can sing. But we had missionaries who came and brought the singing culture in Seca. And it's still there. Unfortunately, we don't have them anymore. And those who go to school today, they don't really, they don't really sing the way we did that at the time. But what we should do is not kill it. We should use it for just, you know, the purposes for which I just mentioned for evangelization, we should use it to lift our spirits, we should use it to praise and worship God, and then we should use it for the joy and fulfillment it brings into all our lives. Singing should not be so. The, the culture of singing is, is almost fading away, but um, why? Because those who were actually taught to sing are also fading away, they're getting tired. Can you imagine? In 1969, a group of cigarettes plus a, a few boys from the Baptist Boys School went to the United States and sang in Canada, sang in the United States of America. From Cameroon in 1969, we'd gone far. If we had kept that pace, cigarettes would be singing everywhere in the world now. And I just pray that the singing culture will come back so that we are known. We, 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 we don't do galas, it's not our thing. We sing. We sing, and when we sing, we make things happen. And when you read the Bible, you pray, and then you sing. You sing, you smile, you pray. Besides, music is like part of our culture in Seca Baptist College. The early missionaries started us on music, giving us music lessons. And it's, it's, it's a trademark for Seca Baptist College. I, you would want to know that when you talk about Seca, most people don't even think about the educational part of it. They think of music. Music is good for your soul. Music just takes you to another level. You know, when you have problems, when you have joys, whatever it is, at school when we cry, when we sing together, it's okay. We are just so, it's just part and parcel of us, music. In 1969 in Canada and the USA, the college singers from Cameroon, composed of students from Seca Baptist College, Joseph Merrick Baptist College, JMBC, Ndu and the Baptist Teachers Training College, BTTC Boya, 
toured and performed musical concerts under the wing of a former principal, Mr. Donald Wheat. They are the first secondary school students choir from a West African nation to tour North America. Music at the time is part of the school curriculum. It is in this dining hall, built with stones and other materials, the pioneer students carried as disciplinary measures meted out to them that generations of seeker students sat to sing, worship and dine. Today, though still standing, the hall and its walls paint vivid pictures of how many years have passed since 1962. The present refectory, I want to believe that was uh, built in um, 1965, around 1965. And at that time, it was constructed to take about 300 students. Uh, it has uh, undergone three or two extensions. It was extended some time ago to take about 800 students and the last extension was done in 2016 by the PTA and the present capacity of the repertory is uh, about 1,200 students. In 2007, for the 46th anniversary of the school, the Alumni Association offered the school an imposing 200 million franc chapel. In fact, the campus has witnessed a number of facelifts over the years, including the renovation of the entrance of the college in 2020 as part of a road surfacing initiative. Why do we want to go back? We want to keep the name of our alma mater flying. And so we have thought the only way we can maintain that level, that status that we have as the first amongst all other schools is to bring up the living standards of the children. We have built dormitories, we have refurbished dormitories. Um, on the 50, 45th anniversary, we put up a chapel for worship. That chapel costed us 300 million over years and we called it our project of faith we have rebuilt toilets we have we have rebuilt classrooms the library we have done so much because we don't want our children we don't want the standards to fail i am not saying that the cbc is not doing but they are doing the little that we can and as a measure of appreciation we are able to give back very easily and then what we've done we've been able to enhance and uplift the building in Seka. We built a, a, a chapel because of the, the spiritual and moral rectitude that we're incorporating into the school. I just know that Sekares are really attached to their beloved alma mater. That's how they refer to it, our beloved alma mater. And from 20 years after they left, when they constituted the constituted themselves into an association uh, of ex-students, they've been going back to Seca Baptist College on a yearly basis and every five years to celebrate an anniversary. And during that time, there's always a project that they give back to the college because they, they want the, the students who are there right now to continue to benefit from the um, the, the legacy that they, they, they left or the legacy that they acquired from, from, from the school. So they keep going back and doing projects and legging them to the next generation so that they too will be able to, to grow, to develop in an environment that is friendly, that is comfortable, and that is enabling for them to become the women that Seca Baptist College wants them to be. <laughs> Thank you. 
to mark the 60th anniversary of the school and the association's 40th anniversary, the Exans have an even bigger plan. This time around, we are going to put a big, huge refectory, 2,000 capacity refectory, which is going to be a multimedia refectory and a conference room and a conference center for the children. I am not saying that there are going to be 2,000 children in that refectory. We are going to say that when we have a ceremony, a graduation or anything. If that refectory was existing now, this is where all of us would have gone for the 60th anniversary. We are just preparing that whenever there is anything happening in Seca Baptist College, we will sit comfortably. Now we're also going to try and change the face of our dining hall and put an ultra modern multi-purpose auditorium. So each year we go back and we have a project. We, have, we had a project for the 45th anniversary, which was the chapel. And this time we are going back with a, an even, even bigger and more challenging project. But I think we are up to it. We intend to build a, an ultra-modern multi-purpose hall that will lodge the refectory and the kitchen and probably other uh, facilities that the students can use in school when that is done. In the story of Seca Baptist College, it is worth noting that Mr. William So Tayo became the first Cameroonian principal of the school. After him, five others have followed. The story of Seca cannot be told without naming the longest serving vice principal for the period that spanned 34 years. Miss Binder, another missionary, Bamba Binder, as she came to be called by the students, is the most ubiquitous, phenomenal, authoritarian, but mother figure of Seca Baptist College. With ease, she was a one-man administrator with an amazing memory and polyglonal skills, the thought of which still fills every secret with awe and nostalgia. Today, Seca Baptist College is 60. The Alumni Association is 40. Both have come a long way in the achievement of the high academic and moral standards set by the visionary founders. I'm very proud of the fact that Seca gave me this foundation of uh, work working very hard. Um, in Seca I learned, um, some of my friends, they were said I belong to a group that they call the bookworm, meaning we spend most of our time reading. And that lay a foundation for the rest of my life. Um, education has always been very key to my life and the life of my children and friends. And so Seca, I'm very proud that the foundation for work and learning started from Seca. My religious background, Seca, read, uh, uh, Seca impacted my life in the aspect of music and religion. There are some basic ethics related to God that we were taught as far back as in Seca which we have not departed from it as sacred and we are proud to be sacred because God is something that everybody longs to belong to, we want to be part of God. Anything that is godly, I know it's an honorable thing. So as sacred, music to praise the Lord is primordial to us. When you hear of sacred, you think music. I am a very proud Sikaret and member of EXA family because of the education I received and the Christian values instilled in me at Sika Baptist College. I am proud because of the friends I made along the way who have become my sisters, but most importantly, I am proud because of what we are able to give back to our alma mater and our collective efforts to influence the future of the girl child 
at Seca Baptist College and around the world. As a secret for this past 60 years, I am proud of the Christian foundation that Seca Baptist College instilled not only in me, but in all of us. I am equally proud of the educational foundation. As a science student who ended up becoming a medical doctor, I can't say enough about Ms. Binder, who taught me biology from form one to five, and also taught me human biology, in other words, anatomy, for two years, from four and from five. I am equally very happy and proud of Madam Karen Leonga, who taught me chemistry for those years. But most importantly, Seka taught us how to live together. Whether you had or you did not have, that was none of our worries. We were just happy to be together. Because it's difficult to be on your own, grow up as an individual, an adult, just being by yourself. And that children that are coming out, graduating from Seka every year, follow in the footsteps of those who went ahead of us. I hope for the best, you know, for Seca Baptist College. I hope that as we leave Seca, we are able to take Seca to a next level. There is so much the world has changed, the world has transformed, you know, and there's no need why Seca should continue to dance around the same periphery. It is a time to reflect on how far we've all come, how we can impact the present students, but also, and more importantly, to take the opportunity to catch up and enjoy the presence of our classmates, our friends, and inties, as we fondly refer to our closest friends. In my opinion, the strength of secrets lie in the unity which we continuously nurture. Secrets seek to achieve one voice towards improving the global standing of the girl child. Thinking of what makes me proud to be a secret, it would be the virtues which we uphold, and of course, the resilience instilled in us during our time in Seca. Uh, I just hope that uh, the school and the exams will remain for eternal eternity, for eternity, because what they are doing uh, deserves to be eternal. Anyone who has any attachment, any relationship with Seca Baptist College, we have partners who sponsor us, we have our husbands, we have our children, we have our friends, we have our colleagues. Anyone who has a friend who has left Seca Baptist College, anyone who is interested to make, to, in making Christian women education a reality in Cameroon. We are inviting you to come so that together we are building the nation of Cameroon. I invite the world at large to come join us, celebrate. Join us at, as partners, join us as family, join us as friends, join us as relatives. Please just come and see and watch for yourself that which you have been hearing about Seca Baptist College. The success of Seca Baptist College is best captured in the words of its first principal, Miss Bernice Westerman, when she said, God gave me an opportunity to see how he has taken such a small beginning 
and made it an opportunity for students to know him and spread his message. Remember, he can walk beyond what we ask or imagine. What the founders imagined, God has worked. And in gratitude, sacreds once more are coming together.